Here's a mini lesson on fraction subtraction with regrouping. This is where you have to borrow, in a sense, uh, from the number next door. So let's take a look at the first type of subtraction with regrouping. One fourth take away three fourths. We can't do that because we can't take three away from one. The way we do this is we borrow from the four and make it a three. What I just took away from the four was one whole. And one whole in fourths language is four fourths. Oops, that doesn't look too nice, but anyway, I took four fourths away from the four to make it a three. Four fourths is equal to one whole. So I'm moving that one whole doo -doo 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 -doo, over to this column with the one fourth that's already there. That means that this number is going to be five fourths because four fourths and one fourth makes five fourths. A uh, shortcut for determining the new numerator when you regroup is simply add the nominate, denominator and numerator together. You're always going to get the correct number to put over here, which is a 5 in this case because 4 plus 1 is 5. So now we subtract. 5 minus 3 is 2. 2 fourths. 3 minus 2 is 1. 1 and 2 fourths, or 1 and 1 half. All right, what happens if we have 7 take away 1 and 5 eighths? A lot of kids are just going to put 5 eighths down here for this answer. That's incorrect. We have nothing right here. Nothing take away 5 eighths. Can't call that answer 5 eighths. So what do we do? Well, let's consider this to be 0 eighths, right? So we have 0 eighths take away 5 eighths. We're going to do it very much the same as this one. Borrow from the 7, make it a 6. We add the numerator and denominator together, and we get 8 plus 0 is 8, 8 eighths. So we have 8 eighths take away 5 eighths is equal to 3 eighths. 6 minus 1 is equal to 5. So there you have it. Subtraction of fractions with regrouping.